Good morning, friends, and welcome to another video. Today I will do another test ride with the Royal Enfield Classic 350. And today I will try to find out if the fuel consumption is different in stock setting compared to the DNA air filter and the Fuel X. I will do a mixture of city riding, then a little bit on the country roads, maybe a little bit on faster roads, not on the autobahn, but roads where you can ride about 100 to 120. So far I had no popping noises in the exhaust, so everything perfect. My fuel X is still installed, but it's not connected to the O2 sensor, so I just declipped it but left all the cables where they are, so just in case I decide to install it again, it's just a matter of five minutes. I don't know if you experienced the same with your Royal Enfield, but my mirrors, they are quite shaky, especially now at 70 or 80. There's a lot of vibration in the mirrors. The seat I have mounted at the moment is the touring seat and I'm quite happy with it. It's getting more and more comfortable. So maybe it needs a while until the foam inside is getting a little bit softer. And for sure more comfortable than the low ride seat, which looks quite nice especially in this single seat look here but the comfort of the touring seat is really good if the weather is more consistent and there's not the risk that we can get some snow anymore I will do my first longer road trip to see if it's possible to go on a long distance ride with the Royal Enfield but I don't know why it shouldn't be of course it's slow but it's comfortable the seating position is very relaxed with the saddlebags I have a lot of possibilities to carry some luggage I'm very happy with the tires so far the Heidenau K60 even they are a little bit more gravel road oriented they are very good on tar too so on a road like this they have a good grip I don't know how they handle when it's raining but this should be fine too So this was very dangerous here. I was sliding right in this curve here. I thought first that some... some uh, ice or it's uh, slippery because of the rain or mud or whatever. But look at this. It's a puncture. But a complete... it's completely off not even a puncture, it's off the rim. Never had something like this before. Completely loose, off the rim. The Heidenau tire, yeah, slipped off the rim. This is really weird. Of course I have no air compressor with me for this short ride. So I'm still on the road, waiting for half an hour now, waiting for the roadside assistant. Yeah, and this is what happens. The tire slipped off the rim. Don't know why. Never had this before in my life. 
so I think there's no chance to repair it here on the road. So they have to bring my bike back home, put it in the garage and change the tire and yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, so interesting test ride today. A special tire test ride. So I'm still waiting for the roadside assistant. They just called me. It will take up to three hours to wait for uh, yeah, the assistants to come. So I have to stay here and uh, yeah, wait until help arrives. I can do nothing at the moment. I have no air pump with me. Of course not, because I just wanted to, to do a small test ride. So this is what happens sometimes. I just stay, change the tires to the tubeless tires of Heiden now and somehow the back tire slipped off the rim. Luckily, I had no accident because I was really sliding with my back wheel. So I was very lucky, very, very lucky because I didn't have to wait for the road assistance. There was a house very close by to the place where I had the problem with my tire. And there was a motorcycle rider who came out and asked if I have any problems. And I said, yes, my tire is uh, flat. And he has a compressor air pump. We first tried it with a battery pump, but this didn't work because there wasn't enough pressure to uh, get the, the tire on the rim again. But he also had a compressor pump. And so we tried the compressor pump and uh, it gave this popping noise and the tire is back on the rim. So I'm so lucky that I don't have to wait for three hours. So this is what motorcycle riders are, always friendly, always try to help you if I have problems on the road. And this nice guy helped me out with my tire problem and now everything is fixed. So there is no puncture. We waited for a while and so it's still absolutely fixed now. So the only thing that I can imagine is that there wasn't enough tire pressure on it when I started my ride. And the tires are new so maybe you have to control it more often than normally. And yeah, so that's why always check your tire pressure before you start your ride. But now everything is okay, no puncture, lucky me. So adrenaline is back on normal. You can imagine if you have a, a puncture or I had a complete flat tire immediately. Uh, and the bike was really uh, sliding a lot. So it wasn't like this before I crashed my bike. So, and you can imagine, adrenaline goes up very fast. But now everything is back to normal. And I can finish my Sunday morning ride. It's a little bit later now, of course. Of course I will go to the gas station now just to check both tires again if everything is okay but it feels fine at the moment yeah so maybe it was a problem of the tire pressure that I started my ride with not enough in the back tire and then in one curve the tire lost all his air at once so it was like this here a long curve with a little bit wet surface yeah small adventures if you ride a motorcycle always be careful anything can happen and check your tires before you go normally i do it but today I just had a look and it looked fine but as you can see it wasn't so I will ride to a gas station now just to check both tires again but backside looks perfect now so I think the problem is gone so I checked the air pressure now on the gas station Everything is perfect now, 
32 psi front and back so the front was okay it was at 32 the back was now a little bit higher because we put more pressure on it to be safe that the tire stays on the rim but now it should be fine I don't know what happened but the only reason that I can imagine is that there wasn't enough tire pressure on the back tire and that's why it slipped off the rim yeah so a little, little surprise on the Sunday morning I also filled up the, the tank and the fuel consumption is the same I'm still at 3.5 3.6 liters which is still okay but Royal Enfield says it's just taking 2.6 liters which would be amazing for road trips but the mixture that I was riding like a little bit city riding and country roads I couldn't make it okay friends so that's it for today a little bit of an adventure luckily cross fingers nothing happened just sliding on the road but no no crash no falling so my Royal Enfield is still okay no problems but this really was an adventure so yeah I have to remind myself to always control the tire pressure because you can see this can happen if there's not enough inside I don't know why because everything is new new tires new rims the front is okay but the back somehow it was losing some some air so I will check this in the near future now if it stays now or if I get this problem again but hopefully not so uh, is there a big difference between the fuel X and the DNA air filter and the standard setting I think no of course there's a better sound with the DNA the acceleration is a little bit smoother with the fuel X fuel consumption is the same 3.6 liters so no change there okay friends that's it for today I hope you liked the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and of course I see you on the next video take care and cheers